Hello there, I'm another Magento dev. And in this video, we're going to continue with our theme development. Okay, let's uh, let's jump in. Hello, welcome to this next tutorial. So, this is going to be looking at the footer, editing the footer of of Luma theme. Um, with the footer of Luma theme, there's virtually nothing that you want to keep. Uh, you can get rid of it. Uh, unlike the header, there's nothing really in there that is sort of required by e-commerce by default. You know, like we're talking about the header, you want to be careful with that because there's functionality in there that you know is is often included in any e-commerce site, like say, like a mini cart. You know, like a a, a, a navigation, you know, account links. So, but with the footer, it's essentially just a list of links in it. And and the Luma theme has, um, you know, as we can see here, has a, a newsletter sign up in it as well. Um, it, obviously, I could change the links here to white links, and the newsletter looks decent. The you know, it's tidy enough. But we're going to change it. What we're going to do is we're going to move the newsletter to a bit of more of a, uh, above the footer so a bit more above the footer so it's more of a feature um, and we're gonna add a few more blocks to the footer to make it you know stand out a bit more as a as, a, as an entity as a part of the site you know we're gonna have a little social sign up with social logos area and we're going to expand on this list using the mages on page builder again don't have to use mages on the point of this is that um, it's it's universal. The upgrade scripts that we're going to update scripts that we're going to use are universal. Um, I have got some pre-built modules that I've used on another project that I thought created a really nice, you know, a really good footer uh, footer area for the site, and I'm going to use those. So I'm going to start importing them one by one, um, dragging them in, in into the folder one by one. Um, and and we're just going to sort of test them as we go, uh, and make sure that the um, that they all that they all sort of um, that they upgrade, uh, and that they uh, don't throw up any errors on the site. So I'm just going to bring up a nice clear. The only thing I'll fast forward is the processing of the upgrade commands. Um, so we're going to start with the. Um, I'd say the socials. No, we're going to start by moving the newsletter. Okay. So we've got a nice tidy little module here, which, as we can see, global newsletter. Um, and what it's going to do is it's looking for this block, which is going to get installed. Uh, you find that you can rinse and repeat these techniques and get really great results. So the upgrade data in here, as I said, my um, one of my uh, developers has already been in and created this in the admin and um, I've got mages on page builder installed as I've mentioned before so therefore this is gonna just spring to life once it's once it's installed and I don't have this static block in my install so let's have a look at the front end code the important bit so this is basically moving the standard magento form subscribe and you can search for this in your um, install in vendor it's the easiest way to find um, how to replace these classes and you can see there it is and that lives in module newsletter layout so this is the block that shows this here right and what we're saying with our module is right we're gonna we're gonna move this block we're gonna first of all we're gonna um, I'll just bring it back up. First of all, we're going to create this block, um, which is the footer, the footer block, and then we're going to move um, form subscribe into form newsletter here. Um, this is actually static code, which um, displays a message from a static block. So it's, I think it's just text, um, but we'll, we'll we'll put it in and we'll see we'll see what it does. So. One way to, to find out if it's going to work. Um, you just got to make sure because I've imported it from another project. I want to make sure this is important that all my references refer to my folder structure. 
it, nine times out of ten, if you get an error, it's because you forgot to change one of these. Uh, obviously, that doesn't matter, but you know, it's because you forgot to change one of these. So we're going to run this now. So setup upgrade, setup upgrade should be enough. Um, it's enabled the caches again. So I'm just gonna, just to make sure, quickly run a cache flush, um, and also disable the the niggly ones that we like to keep disabled when we're developing. There we go. Took a while to load, but we've got newsletter subscribe and we've got it in the um you know we've got it we've got it in a different place we've moved it from here and we've put it here and it looks really tidy so this is the bit that's um been inserted from the static block which for now is just placeholder you can see you've got mages on code here and um, so the client can go in and edit this message essentially um yeah and that's all working as you can see the javascript still works to check it and and that's 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 great so job number one the newsletters in um, right then let's uh, let's go move on to the next one and we'll build it up in layers so again I'm using modules to do this I'm not doing it in the theme that could have been achieved in the theme fairly easily but I'm not because one I want them to port to other projects and you just saw how fast that was and um, to, to get it going um, and it picked up the styles that I already had installed and, and all that sort of stuff so we can can really speed up development using this technique um, so the next one we're going to throw in is, um, doo -doo -doo -doo, we'll say footer socials. So this is going to be a logo and some um, social links, some social icons. So pretty standard in, in a lot of e-commerce and pretty standard again, I'll just check this, pretty standard in, you know, to have, for designers to have, um, include this type of block where it's just a, a reiteration of the brand and also a... Um, all right, set up upgrade again, and uh, and uh, and uh, call to action for sharing on on the you know advertising the client's social accounts. So I was just checking there that I've remembered to change the um, references. As you can see, this is pretty much the same code every time. This upgrade data script, and here's the block that I'm entering um, into the admin, and it's you know I'm just waiting for this to now run, and then. We'll do we'll do the same again, and it should it should add another block for us. Uh, the great thing about this is you're not going in and outside out the admin. You know, adding data. It's just it's just flying in there. And okay, it's there. So this block actually removes the original footer as well. I'll show you that's how it's done. Um, I'll show you how that's done. Let me just check something here. I'm missing. I'm missing the logo. I'll ch I'll check that, but you you get the idea. I'm missing those those blocks. Um. So how is that happening? And it's similar to how we got rid of the navigation in the other module for the mega mega menu in another tutorial that should now be on YouTube. Um. There, removing the footer links block. And again, this is. I'll go over these things because they're important. Um. Footer links. How you'd find it. There she is, just in there. In there's one actually. There's one in, and this is again always good to, to know. There's one that exists in catalog search, um, and there's one that exists in module CMS. So uh, that's the privacy and cookie one. So they're all over the shop. These ones. So if you want to get rid of this block, footer links basically gets rid of all of these blocks. Uh, if you if you put that, you know, uh, not that one. Sorry, if you I've closed it, haven't I? Um, there. If you put that in, it's essentially going to remove all of those references right through your right through your theme. But if you're in the business of changing your footer completely, you need rid of them. Uh, the, you know, they're providing nothing. They're providing nothing. So that's um, that's that one. Um, right then, let's have a look at the. Ah, oh, tell you what, we'll fix them images. So this this is something that I came across as well because 
we're using the page builder because we want to encourage the client to be able to edit these things like maybe they want to change their icons at some point and they've got the ability to do it um, in our in our Bitbucket repo we obviously we would um, we would tell um, the Bitbucket repo not to sync media generally you wouldn't want you know your your install of catalog you, you, you don't need these images in your repo they take up a lot of space and the client editing them and there's no you know if you're using your repo for a deploy system which I've got other videos on then you're gonna overwrite these these um, these images uh, now in a situation where um, you've got a bit bucket repo and you do want some images you know so they say they're, they're fairly static um, from the outset and you do want to include some images what you're uploading through the page builder as a develop as a developer well what I came up with was a way of doing that so I, I created within media um, a web folder and that web folder as you can see I'm trying to reference it here is, is I'm, I'm saying it's reserved for developers so you can see media web there and um, it's reserved for developers and what I mean by that is any initial build we're doing and I'll show you in a second so I'll just I'll just get this in any initial build we're doing um, I'd like to be in control of the initial sort of image uploads like social icons and logos and things like that and what I've done is in the git ignore all I've done is I have all of the so we can see we've got the web folder now and if I just refresh the front end them images should come through yeah so I need to change the, the uh, you know the color of the background which you can do a set but you know all of them assets have come through now uh, the web I, I basically set up and I'll, I'll show you in another project as you can see the majority of this comes through from Magento's sort of standard practice in terms of you know making sure that you don't upload um, certain media folders now usually this is an all or nothing thing it's basically just media that doesn't get uploaded and only the HT access in media gets sent to your repo which is fine for the majority of situations now with this situation what I did was I get ignored the majority of the media folders you can see the ones that are darker are all getting ignored so they're not getting sent to the uh, repo but the one I did want to get sent to the repo and sync with is the web directory and this can then be accessed by the admin but by the admin as a developer so I know that my developers are going in and if they're adding any assets through the page builder they're adding them into this file here and um, so so you can build it into your deployment process it, obviously you can you can pick and choose when you want to get involved but it's a good it's a good way of separating the developer work that they're doing in the admin and the work that the merchant will do in the admin and also the work that a developer does um, as part of the building of the theme and the work that the developer does as part of the building of the theme all other images as I've sort of touched on before will go into web images and these are like account icons close buttons you know the the iconography and the logo for the site which could actually be moved but the icon, the stuff on the site that is we don't want the client to ever find or touch or replace so, uh, let's just have a quick look at what color black this is all right it's AO so we'll just uh, we'll just change this just to tidy it up before we get on to the next bit because I know people like to see a little bit of CSS tomfoolery um, where might this be? Probably in the footer. There we go. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, this is it's worth it's worth noting. This has been done in the page builder. So, in order for white things to show in the page builder, light things to show, you've got to sort of set the background in the page builder to be the darker background. So when you open the stack block. In fact, I'll I'll log in and I'll I'll show you. Um, I'll copy over the other the last extension. I think it's the last extension. So we've got which ones have we got here? We've got. Um, I'll come back to that. So we've got. Who's that? Uh, socials. What I want? Footer links. So the general footer links and then a footer base. So we'll throw these two in at the same time. 
Um, and this is the base of the footer, so it's like you know where the copyright would be on the site. We've we've updated it a little bit with some of the links, you know, like the privacy links, terms and conditions. Usually are in that sort of lower lower footer area, and then the more um, the more used links are above that, you know, like categories and about us and things like that. So um, we've created two more blocks. Throw into here. As you can see, two more have come in. Do the page build. Uh, I'll just log in and show you the page builder. Um, now. There will be another. There's another video now. It should be live explaining the Mage on Page Builder, going through the Mage on Page Builder in more detail. Um, so, yeah, don't like my password. So, have a guess what my password was in the comments. Uh, so, I'll I won't go into the Mage on Page Builder in detail as I say. That's for another video. But I'll just quickly show you why that is coming up as the wrong black basically it should be coming up as that one but it's not but we'll make it okay so you see these are the blocks that we've added thus far um, and this is the socials one so they can sort of see what you know it's pretty much what it is on the front end so it's really really useful this this plugin change that there there you go Obviously, still not quite the right black, but never mind, it's, it's close enough. We'll save that. We'll jump onto the front end and refresh the cache. Okay, notice I've put in them other two extensions here, but not until you run setup upgrade will they interact with your install. Just to note, setup upgrade turns them on. In fact, I can show you um, while that's loading. Um, refresh the caches there. So if I just do a quick PHP bin Magento um, module, oh, that's wrong, module status, It'll, it knows they're there, but it ain't switched them on yet. So just good to know. There you go. So I've refreshed the caches and we've got ourselves our sort of other footer. We're going to add our two other blocks now. So I'll just run setup upgrade. There we go. So again, it's an issue with the backgrounds, um, and there's a broken image here. So dark ASOS logo. To be honest, we might just go and change that. So I'll demonstrate. So um, if we just jump out of here, okay. First of all, we could probably change this image. So we'll go for single image edit. Um, right. In. So it opens the usual. But as I was saying. So this demonstrates the web directory. So because I'm the dev, I'm going to go in and I'm going to. Sorry, it already should be there actually. Yeah, there it is. So I've got a couple of logos here. We could go for. I'll go for the black one. Seeing so, um, Okay. There you go. Just a little logo, just to demonstrate. Um, and then also. Yeah. There we go. So that's going to change my footer 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 the base footer so hey, look this is this color has been added to the row it looks like it has lovely and um, these are not links at the minute but you can make them links dead easy look look it's going to be dead easy for the client to go in and, and do this Modules are enabled there. My cache is been refreshed. So each time you run setup upgrade, I've covered this before. But each time you run setup upgrade, you get a um, the caches get re-enabled. So you have to make sure, as I mentioned at the beginning, um, that you switch off the in another tutorial that you switch off the them caches as I, as I have been doing. So there you go. There's the footer. So that's edited all through. Um, static blocks obviously and all through upgrade scripts and all through crucially through modules and not in the theme at all um, I hope that was useful um, and insightful um, if you liked it like the video um, subscribe and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll keep these tutorials coming I'm finding it um, a really good learning experience for myself as well so see you soon